Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the SmackDown Live Review Show. I'm your host, Glenn Thomas, as always, one four for the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, which you can find each and every Thursday night on Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM and 96.9 FM. You can also find us on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, as well as YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell notification, that subscribe button, leave a comment below. Let's get down and dirty into it to SmackDown Live from this past Tuesday night. And we saw SmackDown Live kick off with The Miz apologizing to Shane McMahon for what happened at the Elimination Chamber. Uh, he emphatically apologized, said it was his fault. He's sorry. It would never happen again. He's disappointed. He didn't want to be a one-time champ, tag team champion or have the title that short of a period of time. Uh, very good promo here. We know what this is setting up to, uh, to eventually a match between Shane McMahon and The Miz at WrestleMania. We hopefully cross your fingers. WWE can change plans. But before they can even get through this whole sympathy, love you, and, and, and get back together bonding thing. The Usos come out. Now, welcome to the Uso Penitentiary, brother. Uh, Usos come out. Jay and Jimmy Uso, uh, your new SmackDown Tag Team Champions come out. And they go back and forth with The Miz and Shane McMahon, which sets up a match at Fastlane where The Miz and Shane McMahon would get a title match against the Usos here. Uh, the Miz's father, as we found out later on the show, Miz's father will be present there. Mr. Miz, as they want to call him, uh, will be present at uh, the fa fast lane here in two, in two and a half weeks or two weeks. Uh, last last stop before WrestleMania. So we got a match that's set up there. Uh, then we move on to, once again, NXT stars on SmackDown. They didn't get a big reaction on Monday Night Raw from the Lafayette. A lot of your fans complained about that, uh, about the fans, the crowd at Lafayette should never ever get a TV show again, or the fans at Lafayette were just so dead. But this New Orleans crowd here in New Orleans, Louisiana, the Smoothie Center, the home of last year's WrestleMania, uh, was that much a little bit better here. And we got a match right off the bat with Andrade taking on Aleister Black. Continuing their feud from NXT. If you didn't watch their feud from NXT, you missed a lot. These guys were willing to do whatever it takes to get the title. Alistair Black ended up beating Andrade for the NXT Championship. And this match right here didn't disappoint here on SmackDown Live. But nonetheless, Alistair Black picks up the win over Andrade. Now, CN has been doing put it well has been putting on good matches here. What's funny about this is you see uh, Andrade, whose manager is Selena Vega, who happens to be the wife of Aleister Black. It was kind of funny there to see these the, her expressions every time Andrade was getting hit or kicked uh, and how she was reacting, but she's a professional. I would love to see that. But this, that's the storyline within the storyline. For those who did not know, she is married to Aleister Black. But Aleister Black picks up the win here on SmackDown over CN. I, then we saw the man. We saw DIY, DIY, DIY come and take on the bar to raise up to, to another level. Sheamus and Cesaro, Tomasa Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, uh, as long with the, the bar. Sheamus and Cesaro put on a heck of a tag team match on SmackDown. The crowd was that much more into it. Uh, this match went back and forth. Hard hitting, stiff hitting match. Uh, worried about Tomasa Ciampa's knee at one point, man. Didn't know if he was okay. Haven't seen any reports stating any other any anything otherwise. Uh, but it's been a big week for Tomasa Ciampa and Johnny Gagano. If you're listening to this on Wednesday night, you know this on Wednesday night's uh, edition of NXT. Johnny Gagano ended up taking on the Velvet Team Dream, baby. Don't want to be a spoiler, but the match has already taken place if they do it that way. Uh, but don't want to be, don't want to give you any spoilers on that. But nonetheless, good tag team match here. Uh, and they pick up the win. They pick up the win. Jordi Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa pick up the win. But then we move on to what I thought was one of the highlights of the night, uh, in my opinion, which was good. Oscar comes out. Oscar talks about how uh, she is being overlooked but she beat Charlotte Flair. She made Becky Lynch tap and that she wants to challenge her for SmackDown. Now, come on, ladies and gentlemen. I've been a wrestling fan. You've been a wrestling fan. We all are wrestling fans. Who on the SmackDown brand really could wrestle Oscar? This is what I'm thinking in my head. Who on the SmackDown brand can really beat Oscar? Who on the SmackDown brand could really take on Oscar right now and we believe that they were going to win? But none other than the goddess herself, Mandy Rose, comes out and say, guess what? I want to challenge you, Oscar, to a match. Oscar was dominant this match back and forth. Uh, Mandy Rose mentioned that she had an injury to her eye. Oscar was distracted. Oh, before we even get there, Lacey Evans makes her presence felt once again as she sashays to the ring and then she sashays back. Now, I don't know about you. Uh, you may like this and I, I, 
WWE's keep doing it for a reason, just to make us realize that Lacey Evans is there. But we haven't yet to see Lacey Evans in the ring, except for at the Royal Rumble, which she did last a long time, and we saw her and Charlotte Flair mix it up and match it up uh, in there. It's about time for Lacey Evans to get in the ring on SmackDown. You got NXT call-ups who just came up, who are been in the ring more than Lacey Evans has been, and she's been called up for months now. But nonetheless, get back to the match. Mandy Rose complained about her eye, and she picks up the win over Oscar by surprise a surprise roll up. Lace, that's right, Mandy. I said it. Mandy Rose picked up a surprise win over Oscar. Maybe we see Mandy Rose taking on Oscar at Fastlane for the women's championship, and then we'll see another match. See who Oscar's opponent will be at WrestleMania. Mania. I think this match right here at WrestleMania with Oscar will be a multi-women match. I think many women will be in this match. I don't think it will be a one-on-one -on -one match. I can't see uh, WWE giving Oscar a one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania unless it's a major match. So I see a lot of women being involved in this match with Oscar for her SmackDown Championship. But nonetheless, we move on. Then we saw the Ricochet, the Human Highlight Field, take on as Ricochet took on Eric Young. He took on Eric Young in this match. Sanity finally gets some TV time. I haven't seen Sanity on TV very much, but these two guys mixed it up, and it has been a very good match between Ricochet and Eric Young. Sanity got a little involved, involved in the match here, but Ricochet did what he did. He created highlights, created moves. The crowd was really behind him tonight on SmackDown Live, in my opinion. You let me know what you think. Did you enjoy the match between Eric Young and and, and Ricochet gave about five, eh, about eight to ten minutes for this match here, but nonetheless, Ricochet picks up the win on Eric Young here. So two nights in a row, Ricochet picks up the win. WWE is really making these NXT guys um, stand out. What's kind of interesting to me, they're not getting even, they're not even getting SmackDown brand uh, lower thirds, if you want to call it. They're still the NXT, so there may be some mix in there that WWE is trying to blend all three shows together. Rumors has it that NXT may be going to FS1 and not just on uh, the WWE Network platform. It's been rumored out there that WWE is moving that direction because Fox, as a new deal with Fox, wants some more programming. And why not move NXT there and make some of the name, the stars, household names on a bigger brand or a bigger television platform? Only time will tell. And with the emergence of AEW, I guess WWE and Fox will want more TV, more stuff on TV that's WWE related than AEW. Um, not that uh, fans are going to take, you know back and forth either way because AEW plans as I'm hearing is that AEW plans to air on Tuesday nights uh, not any Wednesday night so you have if that's the case and that is to be true you have WWE Monday Night Raw on Monday night you have AEW on Tuesday night you have NXT on Wednesday night and then Smackdown is supposed to be on Friday night so we'll see how that shapes out here in the next couple of weeks as more news comes out about AEW and as more news comes out about the WWE deal with Fox and FS1. Uh, we move on. Then we have the main event of the evening. Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, Jeff Hardy, Kofi, Kingston, Randy Orton, all in a six-man tag team match. Daniel Bryan said before the match that none of these guys will be able to beat him or will compete, for, will face him for his WWE championship at the WrestleMania. He needs a new challenger. He needs somebody else. Uh, this match went back and forth as your typical six-man match. Everybody got their spot in. Everybody got their stuff in. And nonetheless, we end up seeing what most fans wanted to see. As Coach Week saw the entrance of New Day at the beginning, half tag. Kofi Mania, uh, everybody been tweeting about it, been talking about it, make it happen, make it happen, prior to SmackDown Raw, SmackDown Live, make Kofi Mania, I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen, newsflash, it's not going to happen at WrestleMania, and we find out, we found out that in, at the end of the show why it wasn't going to happen at WrestleMania, uh, we saw Kofi Kingston once again the trouble, get the trouble in paradise on Daniel Bryan, in this match with Big E and Xavier Woods looking on, and as he gets the trouble in paradise, two for two times, Two times for two times in the last week. Kofi Kingston got a pin over Daniel Bryan over the WWE champion. And Shane McMahon at the end of the show made the match, ladies and gentlemen. It will be none other than Kofi Kingston taking on Daniel Bryan at Fastlane here in the next couple of weeks. It will be Kofi Kingston taking on Daniel Bryan. Hashtag Kofi Fastlane, not hashtag Kofi Mania, because if Kofi's getting a match at Fastlane, which means that he's beaten Daniel Bryan twice already, Daniel Bryan has beaten him once, so right now we'll get Kofi Kingston taking on Daniel Bryan one-on-one -on -one 
at Fastlane. Won't be a WrestleMania match. I think WWE already has plans for Daniel Bryan, and it doesn't involve Kofi Kingston. That's why we given they giving us Kofi and Daniel Bryan as Fastlane. Can't see Kofi Kingston going into WrestleMania as your WWE champion. Doesn't mean I don't want it to happen. Doesn't mean I don't want to see it happen. But I don't believe WWE wants it to happen. It's good for the fanfare. It's good for Kofi Kingston to to get to fans that he loved. But hey, once again, as my man Real Dwayne Allen said on the post show, we'll keep breaking down with Brian H. Waters. It is Black History Month, and why not let a black man shine in a WWE? But nonetheless, I do not believe Kofi Kingston uh, will be at WrestleMania taking on Daniel Bryan. And fans may be upset, may be mad about it. Now, Kofi may get another match after WrestleMania, but I think the plans are already set for Daniel Bryan to have a big match at WrestleMania, and it does not involve Kofi Kingston. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining SmackDown Review. Give me your thoughts and your opinions on SmackDown. Do you give it a thumbs up or thumbs down? I was an A, B, C, or D. Give you three stars, four stars, whatever rating and review that you want to give for SmackDown. Let me know here. You're on that little bubble right there. Make sure you leave your comments and concerns below. Also, check us out this Thursday night uh, as we drop a new podcast. Thursday, excuse me, Thursday morning as we drop a new podcast on Fox Sports Radio 1340 AM and 96.9 FM on Apple's iTunes on Google play on stitcher on youtube make sure you hit the subscribe button the bell notification and as always if you're not confirmed consider yourself denied end of story